It may be sunny right now, but many people are still feeling the effects of severe weather over the weekend. Thousands of Appalachian Power customers are still in the dark after strong winds knocked down trees and power lines. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman is live in Rockbridge County, which was among the hardest hit. Tim. That's right, and it's going to take some time to clean up the damage that you see behind me here. The homeowner tells me she wasn't here at the time when this happened last night, but she rushed over when a neighbor came to check on the property. She called me back maybe 10, 15 minutes later and said, the garage is gone. And I said, what? Mary Price was shocked when this 100-year-old oak tree uprooted from her backyard. I was just dumbfounded. It was like one of those things we couldn't believe could ever actually happen. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and the damage didn't knock out power. Down the road, Cheryl Wong can't say the same. Her power was restored Monday afternoon after being in the dark for about 24 hours. I got so crazy crying and upset because I thought I was going to lose my food. She packed up $150 worth of food and went to a friend's house. It was terrible. The trees went down. The wind was blowing. Crews are still cleaning up after this weekend storm rolled through our region. Dozens had to be evacuated Friday from Lynchburg Sandusky Square Apartments. Fire Chief Greg Wormser says the complex is considered to be a low-lying area. It's, you know, common. Um, for, for flooding to occur in that area. And the city has done uh, some work in that area to prevent flooding. So we do see that a little less frequently nowadays, uh, but there is still the uh, possibility that flooding can occur. As far as outages, 2,500 Appalachian Power customers are still without power. That's down from 10,000 Sunday night. The hardest hit areas include the counties in the New River Valley, such as Giles, Floyd, Montgomery, as well as Roanoke and Franklin counties. Dominion Energy crews are also out turning lights back on. We still have 240 customer outages. That's down from 3,000 at the height of these outages. And Appalachian Power says their goal is to have the lights back on for the majority of customers this evening. If you're in one of those hardest hit areas, it might not be until tomorrow. Now, Dominion Energy says they expect to have power fully restored by 11 o'clock tonight. Live in, live in Rockbridge County, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.